Because of blaster. Number four, Dimatem, eh, Dimatem, eh, Dimatem, as a national motivator, near Duatem, eh, yo, eh, ya, it's paying me. Watch the black stars. Many have described it as lethargic. From where you say it? How did you say it? What have we done to them? What have we done to them? To who? To the black stars, the players, the, what have we done? June, the last international break. Uh, mm. break. Yeah. They went to Mali, went to win. Mm -hmm. That was our first win in 2024. Yes. Followed it up with a 4 3 win over That's Central right. African Republic. Sure. That was the first time Ghana had won back to back competitive games in over a year. Yes. In fact, we actually had to go back to Kwesi Apia in 2019 when he beat South Africa and the South America. Yes. So we thought we were progressing. On ascendancy. Then, at the end of the June international window, when the whole Afghan draw mm -hmm. was done, mm -hmm. we looked at the group we were in. First two fixtures, at home against Angola, and away, because Niger were going to play away from home, neutral ground, Morocco, sweet stadium, nice pitch. On paper, this looked like the perfect possible fixtures to build on from what you did in June. And then they go and do this. Look, Mufti, I don't get it. Like, what have we done to them? Last week, the game against Angola, I believe that genuinely the pitch was an issue. Was it a contributing factor? It was, it was a major factor. factor. Major factor. That's what I believe. Otuado came out, criticized the pitch. Even the Angolan coach himself came out and criticized the pitch. When people are telling you, the team, that you are using this thing as an excuse, and you are going to an even better stadium, what with better do? facilities, a better pitch, isn't this an opportunity for you to prove that is wrong? It's literally the perfect opportunity that you said that you were not able to win uh, against Angola because the pitch was a major issue. You go to Morocco a few days later against the, the least fancy team in the group. The least fancy team in the group, Niger. It is literally the perfect opportunity for you to shut up your doubters by the performance and hopefully the corresponding result. And even justify the position of many people that Thank the you. pitch was the reason why you lost against Angola. And then you go and play like this. You see me, it's not really the result that bothers me. It's a performance. It's like we are begging... Ah, Boga, if you play, go ahead. <laughs> no, see, look, there are so many talented players, plenty. Ah. If Karim comes, you can ask him. We can name another 14, 15 players who are out there, who are waiting and hoping to get call up. So if you are playing against Niger, a slow, poor, lethargic first half, and God dashes you a goal because that goal, that goal, they didn't work for it. That goal from uh, uh, Ali Bizebu, that's not a goal you work from training. It just happened. Ali Bizebu, when was the last time you saw him shoot a ball? But he, he shot. shoot. Because there were no options. So Po and the team has entered the pool. It went like that. No, no, solid goal. But it's not a goal where, you see, when you analyze the first half, we didn't deserve to, to go in in the lead. But luckily, we go into the break having the lead. You come out in the second half and you play the way you played. Like no agency, no commitment, nothing. No desire. No desire. It was literally like they were just waiting for 90 minutes to be up so they can go home. People even claim they were walking. No, about you watch, we watch the game. Look, I was bored. I was bored doing commentary. It was, it was extremely difficult doing commentary. Ah, viewers, I'm sure you... you, 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 you you they got tired it. by 74 me, you can tune off. I couldn't tune off because I was doing a job. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I had to sit through the torture of this game. And I don't get it. Like, I, I don't understand because there were too many things at stake. You've already lost the opening game. You are three points behind already. This is the, literally the whipping boys in the group. 
you have to get three points against. In fact, six maximum six points against them. Because away in Khartoum, away in Luanda, two extremely difficult games. Only two teams that are going to qualify. Your, your direct rivals for the two qualification spots have started really well. So now there's pressure on you. Like, you don't win. Don't, don't, don't win. You can win and draw. But show something. Show some agency. They did nothing like that. And for me, that's, look, it's, it's so upsetting the body language of the Black Stars players. Too. So, so upsetting. I'm usually the one who usually sees, like, positives and things. But I was so upset today. And the stuff is... Otuado too just... Today, I just didn't understand. Quick one before I leave. The triple substitution in the second half. Mm. For me, till now, I think maybe till next international window, that's maybe when I'll try and get a small ounce of understanding behind that substitution. But if you take off a natural winger in Fata Isahako and replace him with... Uh, Bedona Santi. Yeah, Brandon. Then you bring... Uh, you take off Inyaki. Bring on Jordan. Jordan. Then you take off Ashimeru. Bring on Elisha. And bring on Elisha. Now, the thinking behind, and, and that's what I'm thinking, the thinking behind Elisha was, okay, we are trying to close shop. But if you are trying to close, you see, it is not advisable to close, because this Black Stars team doesn't, they, they can't defend set pieces, we know. The height advantage belongs to the Nigerians. So if you are going to stop playing and you are going to invite pressure, the more long balls, the more set pieces, the more you are at risk of con conceding. conceding. What can you do instead if Ashimiro wasn't doing the job? There were two like-for-like -like replacements on the bench in Abu Francis and uh, 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 Amankwa. Why don't you force him? Why don't you bring one of them on and then take the steam out of the game by controlling the possession? Pass it around. If you don't want to score, don't let the Nigerians have possession. Pass it around. That's what experienced teams do. Pass it around. You have Pate, you have your forcing or your, your, your Abu. Abu. You can take control of that midfield. But when you bring in Elisha, who is not comfortable on the ball, now you are, you are now, now there's extra a, a, a pressure on party to be able to, to, to dictate the tempo of the game, which obviously it was, it was, it was getting beyond his control. Then the Braden and Jordan substitutions. I'm very really confused. Jordan, okay, fine. But even Braden, fine. If, if you are bringing Braden on, why do you send a center for it to go and play at left wing when there's a natural left winger on the bench in Osman? The space was there, glaring in the entire second half. For Sem him to run through and For him that. to run through. Fatah will get the ball. He doesn't seem concerned about exploiting the space. Same on the right-hand side. Semenyo gets the ball. He doesn't seem he's walking. He doesn't seem like he's interested. But there's a natural winger on the bench in Osman. Mm -hmm. So why will you bring a center for it and ask him to play on the left wing? And then bring somebody who's played it. In fact, the last five years of his career, Jordan has played as a winger. So if anything, why didn't you send Jordan to the wing and let Braden play his natural position? Like, what's the thing? What was the thinking behind that? It's so confusing. They literally just handed momentum straight to the Nigerians, and they were waiting to get the equalizer. Look, Ghana is lucky that we we, we drew this game. Remember the last? Oh minute? yeah, nearly. Ghana yeah. is lucky yeah. because if you look at the chances that were created in the game, the scenarios that were created in the game. We are just lucky that Niger lack quality. It's as simple as that. If this, if this performance was against Angola, we could easily have been looking at a four or five. Like, it was, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was that bad. We were lucky. Niger will create really good scenarios, and then they play a very poor shot, and then just passes by. But a quality player, or somebody of, let's say, like a, 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 a 65, 70% player, will be hitting the target, and will be testing your goalkeeper. So we are really lucky. Yeah, really, indeed, really lucky. Indeed, if they had if they had quality players, they probably would have hit the ball from from afar. Uh, you are just looking at. Thank you for watching the highlights up to this point. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment. If you are new and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe, like our videos, turn on notifications to get highlights like this every time we post it on this channel but then i just want to use this opportunity to tell you about sports corner gh for sports corner gh we do sports and we make it in such a way that you would enjoy it it's very entertaining it's informative and also it's educational so please if you want a sport that's going to give you all these three factors you are going to get it to life here on sports corner gh not only that we have three channels yes the sports corner main the sports corner plus and also sports corner extra 
and you need to subscribe to each and every single of this you know channel to get more information more football highlights football analysis whatever has to do with football and sports you will get it on sports corner g it's no else so please make sure to join the family we will also be bringing you more content not only in sports we are trying to bring you vibes corner gh where we'll be doing street quiz and asking people questions on you know social issues and also things that has to matter to us on the streets we are going to bring you that live on vibes corner g is so no search for vibes corner on youtube you see the channel be sure to subscribe to that channel also so please Make sure to subscribe to all our YouTube channels. We will make sure to bring you the best content live on Sports Corner GH. Once again, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the movement and the family. My name is Adam. I'll make sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go for it.